guys, welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna be doing this look, which is a bronzy smoky eye with a pop of blue on the lower lash line. For my last tutorial, I did a look that was inspired by Gryffindor house colors, so I decided why not do a mini series? Cause I love all things Harry Potter, so yeah. <laughs> this look is inspired by the Ravenclaw house colors, and I know the main color for Ravenclaw is blue, but I decided to kind of switch things up and focus on a more bronzy look. So yeah, this is what I came up with and hopefully you like it. And if you do, just keep on watching for the tutorial. Having filled in my eyebrows, I'm gonna take Max Painterly Paint Pot and using a Sigma flat shader brush, apply that from my crease up to my brow bone. I'm also going to apply this underneath my lower lash line using a Sigma Precision Round Kabuki brush. Going back to my flat large shader brush, I'm going to pick up Inglot's AMC Gel Liner in the color 77 and apply that to my lid. When first applying the product, I like to focus it on the center of my lid and then slowly extend outwards for a feathered look. However, don't worry about perfectly blending that out as we're going to do that when we apply our eyeshadow. Using a Sigma Fluffy Blending Brush, I'm going to pick up Inglot's number 337, which is a soft medium brown color, and apply that all throughout my crease up to my brow bone. Using a MAC 217 brush, I'm going to pick up Inglot's number 329, which is a matte dark brown eyeshadow, and apply that in my crease just underneath the matte soft brown color. With this color, we're really going to blend out that Inglot Gel Liner. Using a damp flat shader brush, I'm going to pick up Max Guilt by Association Mineralized Eyeshadow, which is a dark olive brown with olive gold shimmer. Max Mineralized Eyeshadows can be applied either dry or damp. When it's dry, it has a softer, slightly muted look. However, when it's applied damp, it's much more intense and metallic. Picking up just a little bit more of the dark brown eyeshadow, I'm going to extend that and blend out the edges where it meets with the mineralized eyeshadow. To highlight underneath my brow bone, I'm going to pick up Inglot's number 351, which is a soft matte ivory color, using a medium angled shading brush. Going back to my MAC 217 brush, I'm going to pick up Inglot's 391, which is a matte black eyeshadow, and apply that in the outer V. Using a Sigma pencil brush, I'm going to pick up MAC's Copperized Pigment, which is essentially the pigment form of the Guilt by Association Mineralized Eyeshadow, and apply that to my inner corner. Dampening that pencil brush, I'm going to pick up Max Blue Flame Mineralized Eyeshadow, which is a royal blue with a blue-black base, and apply that along the remainder of my lower lash line. For today's look, I'm not doing any eyeliner, and since all the eye makeup is done, I'm going to come in with a makeup wipe and just clean up underneath my eyes, since this is a very glittery look, and there is a bit of fallout. For my waterline, I'm going to use Stila's Kajal Eyeliner in the color Topaz. For my lashes, I'm going to apply Smashbox's X-Rated Mascara. For falsies, I'm going to pop on a pair of Pixie Luxe by House of Lashes. Now that the eyes are done, I'm going to do my face off camera and then come back to show you the lips. For lips, I'm using Violet Boss's Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Excessive, which is an intense brown color. And here's the finished look! Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and if you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up down below, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video!